Oakland Pirates are now hitting more and more different targets and even a San Francisco fire boat. These are owned by the government themselves. And yes, you heard that right. There is now pirates in the Bay Area. Oakland's pirates are notorious for looting expensive yachts and expensive boats in the marina because those equipment pieces go for thousands and thousands of dollars. And seriously though, some of these equipment pieces do go for like a lot of money. So if you check out what's going on here, Oakland is the city with the highest car theft rate. And San Francisco and San Jose is not that far behind. Every single day and every single hour, we're always hearing some sort of vehicle in the Bay Area being broken through. Some vehicles are being broken through because they're just some really small pieces of change or even just a suitcase. Some vehicles are being broken in just because somebody feels like breaking them in. Like you could have a random dude chuck a brick through your window for no reason. They run away, the cops don't care, and the person putting the bill is going to be you, the car owner, who has to go through insurance and a ton of different really time-consuming stuff just to get your windshield fixed. It's so bad that even rental car companies are moving out of the Bay Area because they rent out 200 cars, and after a week, 20 cars come back with broken windshields, and it's just so bad, right? And now thieves are seeing that looting cars isn't as profitable as a few years ago because now a lot of people in the bay area have adapted and they're pretty much leaving nothing in the car not even a quarter in their car so now thieves are now targeting marinas now waterfront pri pirates i didn't know they had like the balls to go for a fire boat but they did right they stole several expensive equipment from the fire boat now, you may be wondering, oh, you know, why would they steal equipment? This is the dumbest thing ever. Well, here's the thing. Equipment from boats go for a lot of money, right? There are several different types of pieces of different equipment, and many of these equipment pieces go for a ton of money. Thousands and thousands of dollars, like the GPS stuff, you know, the Garmin GPS and stuff like that, anything, like a random chart plotter, for example, they go for a lot of money. It's just cash on cash. Equipment for boats are not cheap. This is a very expensive hobby and even tiny repairs, you know, small pieces, even scrap metal, they go for a lot of money. I mean, look at these prices, right? For example, this one, you know, a lot of these equipment pieces are very, very advanced. And yes, you know, there's even autopilot for a lot of boats and yachts out there. And like I said before, these equipment pieces go for a lot of money. And even just like the individual little parts and in some of these equipment pieces go for $100 on the market. And now we're seeing California's crime is plaguing the shores, right? We're seeing a lot of the crime being moved off land because like I said before, there's thieves that go through rows and rows of cars looking at stuff and the most they'll get is probably just a few hundred dollars. Like you might find a tourist with a suitcase in the car and, and some theft will probably just steal it. You know, that's what's going on. Car theft isn't profitable, but boat theft right now is getting very profitable. And with criminals' word of mouth, we're seeing boat theft rising at an all-time high in the marinas of the Bay Area. And what's worse is there's barely anyone being caught for this. We're seeing a lot of people doing this, and it's almost like every single day we see like a new type of theft. I can't imagine what other type of thefts are in store, like cargo ship theft, you know, UPS plane theft, maybe like office theft. I have no clue. I mean, the thieves in San Francisco and the Bay Area are just getting more and more creative because the laws are so incredibly lax. It's so lax. And not to mention the whole defund the police situation and guess what happened there. There's just not that many cops on the streets anymore. San Francisco still is down 600, 700 police officers. In fact, they probably need more cops to handle all this craziness. Oakland's 911 is so bad it shut down for a couple days. That's crazy to see 911 shutting down and 911 even on hold. It's pretty bad. We're seeing a massive shortage, especially in 911 personnel and obviously with the whole police situation. And this isn't great. You know, the marinas are used to be like one of the safest places, right? We see a lot of rich people, a lot of wealthy individuals, or just regular people who like boats and yachting and stuff like that. They park their boats in the marina, they pay that monthly fee. And the marinas aren't usually like super well kept because it's kind of like the last place you'll see somebody looting your boat's equipment. But yes, it's happening, right? A lot of these who want to pull off a grand heist are going for a lot of these ships. And these ships, like I said before, carry some of the most expensive equipment you'll ever find. I mean, engine parts. We're seeing engine parts being stolen, electronics on the car. It's absolutely crazy. Things that we've never even seen before. I didn't even know these equipment pieces go for this much money. Even like the most 
normal stuff, like a pressure gauge kit, goes for like almost a hundred bucks in some websites. And they're the most basic items. So you're seeing this type of theft rising at an all time high. And boat owners are now very scared. They don't know what to do. Like I said before, you know, a lot of this marina stuff, it's not like super, you know, protected. It's not like there's fences. Easily people could just swim on a boat with a buddy or two and they just loot the crap out of the boat with some of the most expensive equipment. They put it in bags and they run away. You know, thieves are literally arriving in small watercraft using bolt cutters to break in, steal the engines, tools, and even entire small sailboats, which I'm not sure why they're doing it because you can't really sell that anywhere. So we're seeing this, okay? Boat owners at Jack London Square reports that thieves are doing this sort of robbery and they're not having a peace of mind at all. And guess what? Engines are stolen, tools, life rafts, all costing tens of thousands of dollars and several sailboats have also been stolen. You know, I said before, boat owners are blaming the nearby homeless encampments and all sorts of different situation. Now, this is wild, right? I mean, like I said before, Oakland isn't going to do anything, right? San Francisco isn't going to do anything. And it sucks because the marinas and the harbors of the Bay Area are absolutely beautiful. And I see why people enjoy boating and also yachting in a lot of these waters. It's a nice place, right? You're protected from the Pacific Ocean, right? It's pretty calm. The waters are very nice. You could sail around. You could go to like you know Silicon Valley. You could check out you know Fremont. You could go to Oakland, San Francisco. Go to Wine County. It's just such a great place to boat. That's why people own boats and people spend so much money on this hobby. And now people who are interested in this hobby are now super turned off by this. And like I said before, if you have a boat in San Francisco, you're in one of the marinas. At first, you're like, okay, I could put some of the most expensive stuff. I could lock it away in my boat, and it's cool. But now people are getting pretty scared. I can't imagine. You know, these boats are being stolen at a record speed. And the city just doesn't care. And like I said before, right, you just can't have nice things in the Bay Area. San Francisco just never addresses the core issues. Oakland never addresses the core issue, and it sucks because these cities are incredible. The location is fantastic. I don't care what you say. The weather fantastic. San Francisco has great culture. I've been here before the pandemic. It's fantastic. You know, great food. The original Chinatown is here. A lot of landmarks. Just a totally different vibe from the East Coast. But it's absolutely being ruined. You know, 150,000 office workers no longer coming to commute here. Luxury buildings are no longer being sold and luxury buildings are no longer being built. And at this point, we might not even see very, very nice ships or marinas existing anymore. I mean, look at this. This sucks, man. Like, I can't believe people's yachts and boats are being looted. And like I said before, the thieves, imagine thieves go to great lengths getting little speed boats and rafts to loot people's boats. I mean, looting boats take a long time. And like I said before, there's such a big police shortage in the Bay Area that nothing is really being done, which is pretty frightening. But let's see what happens because this right here is crazy. Going against a San Francisco Fire Department ships, that's something I've never heard before.